What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome back to another video. Today we're diving in and having a look at my top five running shoes that I've been using for workouts according to Strava. So just like last week's video where we took a look at my top five long run shoes according to Strava, what I thought I'd do is sit down and go through my training log and see which shoes we've been using the most for workouts. Now this one is gonna be a good one. We've got a good eclectic mix of shoes here and a very good range of mileages and uses, kind of really showcasing where I've been using certain shoes for certain blocks. So a little bit of a hint there as to which ones you may or may not see based on the fact that we had a massive marathon training block earlier in the year. So I'm excited to dive into that today with you guys and let you know what my top five workout shoes is. And just like last time, let me know in the comments below when you've been through your Strava, or if you get a chance, see what your top workout shoes are. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to get a discussion going and let's dive in to number five. If you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and we'll start with the fifth one. So just for clarification, all the data I've got is from my own Strava personal training log and I have today compiled this evidence, this mileage, these amounts of runs based on all the runs that I've tagged as workouts in my training log. So this isn't long runs, this is purely midweek, Tuesdays and Thursdays or whatever day it might have been that I've done workouts. So that's where I've got this data from and coming in at number five is, very fittingly, the Saucony Endorphin Speed. Speed workout, endorphin speed and I'm really glad this one got in there but only just it was about three or four miles ahead of sixth place and that's only because I've got this thing back out of the shoe cupboard lately and put some more miles in it so this thing comes in with three runs in total 39 miles now as you guys know the Brooks Hyperion Tempo took precedence over this shoe during my marathon training and during the end of last year I actually preferred the Hyperion Tempo to this but at the moment I thought to myself I need kind of a good long run workout style shoe I've got the Rebel V2 the Liberate Nitro as my shorter sharper speed workout shoes I need to get something back out we got the Atreyu artist up to 100 miles I need something else that I want to chuck in the rotation so we got this thing back out a very worthy shoe to be up in that top five had some great discussions with you guys about this shoe last week's video some of you saying you got it to four five six hundred miles and it's going great others saying it didn't last that long for you some of you agreeing about the fact that i get hot spots you guys get them too it really is a big variety of opinions on this thing but what you can't deny this shoe is a fantastic speed shoe when you get going in it you get going in it so this one is coming in at number five <laughs> Coming in at number four is the Hoka Oni Oni Mac 4 with 43 miles in total, four runs across the board. This thing has come in with some shorter, sharper workouts, interestingly, and I remember testing it on some shorter, sharper workouts in the beginning and realizing that this wasn't the shoe uh, that was gonna be my shorter, sharper workout shoe. We'll come to a couple of those very shortly. So four more miles in the, in the bullet, I can't even speak, four more miles than the endorphin speed, one extra run, which shows the workouts are shorter this is a real curveball I did not expect this one to be up in there I thought I remember doing the rotate uh, I remember doing the initial tests and I remember doing a test afterwards with it but I don't remember using it that much but going through the records I have seen that I've done some other workouts in this shoe so interestingly and to be fair it's a really solid shoe it just surprised me because predominantly this is my easy run moderate run and sometimes easier long run shoe that's where the majority of the 250 odd miles in this thing now has been soaked up so yeah, a curveball there in at number four. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Coming in in third place, the top three is 
the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2, 74 miles, six runs, or six workouts, I should say, in this shoe. And obviously, as I said in the beginning, this doesn't include long run workouts or anything like that. Um, yeah, we're starting to gap fourth and fifth place massively. So 39 miles, 43 did I say, and now 74 miles, six runs. Now, this thing for me has paired up really, really nicely with the Puma Liberate Nitro over the past few months. Uh, these have been shoes I've picked up in the second quarter of the year, or second third, I should say. They were not shoes I had in the marathon training block at all. So these are pretty much been logging miles from April onwards. And that's really interesting. You can see exactly where my mind has been when it's come to these shoes. Uh, what is that, three months I've had this shoe? Is that three months or four? I think it's three months. Uh, and it really has gone heavy in on the workouts. Bearing in mind, it's only just over uh, 100 miles. And so 74 of them have been in workout format, which is great. A fantastic shoe, absolutely loved it for workouts. Have found, as you guys know, I'm overpronating slightly too much in this shoe. My ankle is rolling inwards and it was causing a little bit of jip. I do find I have to curb it at around six to eight, maximum 10 miles in this thing. But in that range, doing fast speed work, I am absolutely in love with this thing. So there we go, that is number three. Coming in at number two is the Puma Liberate Nitro. Well, actually, I've been corrected so many times. It's the Puma Liberate Nitro. What a shoe. 79 miles, eight runs. So you can work that out. Five more miles than the Rebel V2, but two extra runs. So again, a shoe I gravitated towards for even shorter and sharper workouts. So these short, sharp ones, this is the go-to. I mean, to be honest with you, I've been flitting between the Rebel and this. This is the only shoe in my rotation bar the Pegasus 38, which I've kind of shelved for the moment that hasn't quite made it to 100 miles. It's on like 95. It needs one more run. It's so close. This and the Rebel have been a brilliant partnership. I've absolutely loved it. And as I said, it is a shoe that I have had to modify here. Uh, I had to cut out the back because it was curving in on my Achilles a little bit too much. You can see here it really cuts in, but since I've cut that out, I've had no issues with this thing whatsoever. And it's been an absolute beast of a workout shoe. Those two minute repeats that you've been seeing in the training series, those really fast speed workouts, this is so light, so good, and really rings true of a Pegasus turbo upper and a, not the materials, but the feel of it, and then the midsole of a shortened down Hyperion Tempo. Two brilliant shoes mashed together has made this thing come in at number two. And coming in at the top spot, will this even be a surprise to you, is the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, which as you guys know, has been retired. I do not have it in my possession anymore, but 11 runs, 114 miles worth of work done on workouts. This isn't long run workouts, this shoe was used loads for long runs, but for workouts in midweek, this thing had 11 of them, this had 114 miles, and it soaked up so much of my marathon training, uh, marathon training. That is exactly why the endorphin speed did not get a look in and did not get higher mileage than it has. That Brooks Hyperion Tempo for me, is just one of the best shoes I've ever, ever had. And I have seriously considered on multiple occasions hunting down a discounted pair of Hyperion Tempos. I think if I ever marathon trained again, unless there's anything better on the market to soak up those longer miles without a carbon plate in it or without a nylon plate in it, I would 100% no hesitation go back to using that Brooks Hyperion Tempo. That absolutely et up Canova workouts, the longer 13, 14, 15 mile midweek uh, marathon training workouts, all of that it did seamlessly. So running away with the win is the Hyperion Tempo. So there we go, that's my top five workout shoes according to Strava, number of runs, number of mileage. I hope you've enjoyed that. It was really hard work actually going through and getting all those figures. If you guys have time, I'd love to know. And if you haven't, that's fine. Just let me know in the comments what your favorite workout shoe is. But there was one in there that surprised me in the Mac 4, the Hyperion Tempo running away with it did not surprise me. And I'm grateful that the Endorphin Speed made it into the top five. And that second and third place with the Rebel and the Liberate Nitro, what a pair 
pairing. I've loved those two shoes. So that's my top five. Let me know in the comments below what your top shoes are, top three, top five, whatever it might be that you've been gravitating towards for your workouts this year. That's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.